Hi YouTube, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on my new uh, pole mount solar system. I just finished it up a few days ago and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit in case anybody was interested. The uh, array consists of 10 panels. Eight of them are XC Tech 280 watt monocrystalline uh, premium blacks, which basically uh, has black frames. Two of them are Renogy 250 watt monocrystalline, and they also have the black trim, making a total of 10 and 2700 watts. They are mounted on a 6 inch schedule 40 steel pole. I purchased a uh, 20 foot foot pole and uh, put 6 foot in the ground and ended up cutting off about 2 foot leaving 12 foot to the top of the pole. Additionally when I put the uh, pole in the ground I used uh, about 43 bags of concrete. I also installed a steel cage which I welded together. And for uh, grounding, I welded the cage to the pole. I don't know if you can see it, but the bracket, which, the bracket is up here. I had uh, custom built. I had seen a uh, one on eBay for uh, I think it was a four inch pole, possibly a six, and it was made with a quarter inch plate. I had this one designed with a 3 8 plate um, has two 6 inch galvanized U-bolts and I don't know if you can see but up here there's a hole there if you come around to this side there's a hole on this side as well in there. So basically the pole goes through the bracket and the bracket holds the rigid pipe. Originally uh, I was thinking I was going to try to go with a, a manufactured type railing system but uh, after looking at that and the cost of that, I thought I could come up with uh, something a little bit different. Plus, I pretty much had all the rigid and the clamps to uh, make this frame. The uh, frame is, like I said, made out of two inch rigid. The pieces here and here are five foot long, as well as that one and that one. The three cross braces are about nine foot, I believe, I recall. And I used uh, some key clamps, two inch key clamps, which I'd actually salvaged from a, a job about a year ago, as well as about three pieces of this two inch galvanized piping that was about 12 foot long for the rails I used 20 foot sticks of Unistrut they are cut at about 13 foot four of them 
I think, uh, maybe, excuse me, maybe if I ever uh, change this or move this, I might opt for a different railing system. Although it's sturdy, it does, the span of it, even though it's supported the kind of way it is, it does leave a little bit of a slight bend in the front panel, so you can, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't think it's anything uh, too major, but that can also be from not using uh, maybe a solid piece of piping in this section here instead of five foot pieces. Maybe if I had to wait with a, a solid piece, that might have worked better, but I just used what I had. Anyway, this is a grid tie net metered system. I'm using uh, five micro inverters. These micro inverters are from, I don't know if you can see, not really, I guess. They're AP systems, YC500i micro inverters. And the nice thing about these is you can run two modules off each micro inverter as compared to most of the standard ones where you can only run uh, one module per micro inverter. So I have uh, five inverters. The uh, maximum output of one is about 500 watts is the maximum continuous. So ideally I should at least get you know 2500 watts on a good day if it's sunny but uh, the last few weeks have been a little rainy so my production has been pretty pretty off a little bit here and there from day to day um, the other nice thing about this uh, the AP systems micro inverters <clears throat> is they have a uh, kind of like a trunk cable that uh, basically the inverter just snap into a it's a number 12 conductor four wire conductor cabling so basically the uh, panels are DC they snap into the inverters and the inverters convert it to AC and then I take that to my box here which is AC and everything from that box back to the main panel is all AC which this uh, system allows me to use seven micro inverters all on a number 12 THHN THWN conductors it's 240 volt with a ground and a neutral the neutral is used for the uh, communication from the inverters to the, they call it an ECU module, which basically uses uh, power line communications from the inverters to the ECU and lets me keep an eye on what the system's doing. Um, i trying to think what else I can tell you. Originally, I hadn't planned on having this. Uh, stabilization bar but uh, after doing some research and thinking about the different seasons and the tilting options I uh, went ahead and thought I'd use that so I can adjust my panels to the four different seasons just by pretty much coming over here and loosening I don't know if you can see it very well. There's an Allen bolt right there that I just have to loosen. And I'll let that bar slide uh, whatever direction I need it to for my degree of angle. 
Uh, there's two two inch U bolts up in the bracket that hold the uh, center pole. And they're pretty tight, but they're a little a little loose so that I can adjust the uh, this uh, bracket here. Um, not sure what else I can tell you. I did uh, pull an inspection on this permits. I had a city permit for the town I'm in, and also a state electrical, which uh, it did pass, of course. I got it all labeled as for code. I used uh, half inch EMT with uh, rain tight compression fittings. The uh, array is pretty well balanced. Originally, I was going to go with eight panels, and I happened to come across these Renegies. On Craigslist for uh, I think it was about 100 bucks a piece. The guy was trying to get rid of them, so uh, I went ahead and purchased those and bought another um, inverter. <coughs> so uh, people might be wondering, well, how did you get the panels up there and safely and all that? Well, I kind of designed it next to my house so that you can tell my roof line isn't very tall compared to most houses. So basically uh, before all the wiring was up I just put the modules in on top one at a time and I had loosened the six inch u-bolts and basically I spun the bracket around like 360 degrees for each module and just put them on one across the other until I got done putting all the modules on and then got it in the direction I wanted it and then tighten all the bolts down and then went ahead and proceeded to mount the uh, marker inverters and install all the grounding to the weeb lugs there's uh, weeb lugs on each panel also, we lugs on the uh, micro inverters. And uh, number six ground goes into this junction box here, which uh, all the steel ties together.